I have 151 roller coaster credits. Sound familiar? Let me give you a hint. There's 150 Pokemon! Actually, he's wrong because there's 151 in the first generation of Pokemon, but he forgot Mew for some reason. But you get it. So today I'm gonna show every single one of those roller coaster credits for you. But don't worry, it's not gonna be like a super long thing where I explain everything about every coaster. Instead, I'm gonna speed run this and say one thing about each roller coaster. Also, to make things interesting, instead of going in alphabetical order, I will go in the order that I rode them in for the first time. I actually do have a pretty clear idea of the credit number for each of them. Until we go down to like number 37, then it becomes kind of guesswork. This many. So for the first time, it's time to play Who's That Pokemon? It's Pikachu! Roller Coaster Edition. Fuck! Starting with number one, Mariehun. I also want this to be my own kid's first coaster. Karavain. Had a fun airtime hill with airtime. Ochebane. It doesn't even have a name. They just market it as the roller coaster that they have. <laughs> Hunapoden. The legendary unbeatable goat of all coasters, the dog fart coaster. I'll let it fart on me any day. <coughs> Vilbesn, nightmares. Racing, I severely miss this coaster. Wuchibane, unbelievably well preserved and still one of the country's most fun roller coasters. Odinexpasen, I wish they kept the trees that this ride surrounded. Goldmine, f*** this ride. Mine Train Ulven, the clearance on this is so insane your head might actually hit a branch. Even if you don't move and you don't even have to be tall. <laughs> Timber Ride, classic memories. Drown, Dark Ride meets Powered Coaster and nails it. Extreme Racers, used to be dull, but kinda slaps now. Henketten, best coaster in the park, but also makes me want to barf real bad. Caninos, bring this back, I know you have it in storage. Probably. Victor Venom, why, for the love of all that is good, did they recently add trims to this already slow ride? Vilsvinel, my first inversion, also surprisingly good for Gerslauer's original thrill coaster. Carlos Taxi, this had nothing to do with taxis. Force Hammer, the Kaseng Cell clone going over water. Wuchibane. Of all things they could have retracked on this ruined, uncomfortable contraption, they retract the lift hill. Tornado. Probably the most forceful coaster on earth in boost mode. <laughs> Meaning Exposition. Camouflage for family coasters or something. What the hell are you talking about? Flower Moosen. My one French built coaster. And it shows. Die Wille Moves. This ride shows why standard Wild Mouse coasters are overhated. Hula Explorer. The drop track is awesome. Royal Scotsman, amazing interaction with Nessie. Crazy Mind, the operator made me sit in between the two seats, which might be the dumbest thing I'd ever have to do on a coaster, and it hurt. Die Schlange von Midgard. The first drop packs a punch. Nessie. I seriously need a rewrite on this. Skaterion. It's a fun layout and a splashdown is always welcome in my book. Juvelin. Yeah, this really isn't a family coaster. Demonin. I don't rank it highly, but it's probably the coaster I have the closest personal relationship with. I love it. I love you. Okay. The funniest thing in the world is hearing GPs say you need to hold your breath because it goes underwater. I am under the water. Falcon. A straightforward airtime machine in desperate need of a retract. Lunel. A three-part power house with heavy forces. Pinsvino, probably one of the most adorable front cars out there. It's too cute! Big Lou, not painful, only forceful. Fluk der Demonen, really complete and a wonder doing Halloween. Bobon, love the whippy transitions. Kake, might be short, but all three elements hit perfectly. Perfect! Toxic Garden, no Heidi Park, it's not a new coaster because you painted the supports and gave it a new name. Please add an actual new coaster suit, I, I beg, beg you. you. Colossus Kampfdekiganten, criminally smooth, it doesn't even feel like a wooden coaster. There's a race, a contender for the best launch I've experienced. Raptor, want near misses? No problem, mio amico. Shaman, this ride is pretty great, but I wish I got to ride its now defunct partner. I hope you rest in pepperoni. Kung Fu Panda Master, Fabri low key makes the best spinning wild mouse coasters. Order Brukotor, want lift hills? No problem, mio amico. Mammut, we totally need more Ice Age themed coasters out there. <laughs> Blue Tornado, bonus helix is the best part of the ride. Oblivion the Black Hole, ride this doing sunset. <laughs> It's unforgettable. Flug von Novgorod. Perfect blend between theming and thrills. Der Schwur des Kernen. Never have I experienced such epicness on a ride before. <laughs> Mariehun. Yeah, you're gonna wanna be in shape for this one. Kamil. That's what everyone called the coaster it replaced, so they probably didn't have a choice with that name. Den Wilehunsiak. As a fox lover, this makes me happy. Not the chicken being scared, just the fox. Draukung. The ride that accidentally got the Gerslauer setting for its smoothness. I'm gonna kick your ass. Jungle Rally. Ow. Piraten. Warms up like pizza in the microwave. Schweizer Boban. Buzzkill the ride. Eurostat Kan Kan Costa. I love this coaster theme to death, and I promise it's not because there's a video of topless women in the queue line. Hey! 
Ayo, hey, what the f It's because of the music. Blue Fire Mega Costa. Europa Park don't know how to use capital letters. Silver Star. Why does no one acknowledge the ejector airtime out of the helix? No! <laughs> Euromia. Best soundtrack ever. Votan Timbo Costa. Chaos. Just chaos. Atlantica Super Splash. One of the two Pirates of the Caribbean knockoff rides in the park. Matterhorn Blitz. The lift hill is low key the most fun part of the ride. Pegasus. Mine Train Olin's smaller German cousin. Poseidon. Some of the most realistic feeling theming I've ever experienced. Alpen Express Enzian. Gorgeous lights. Atua. The inverted powered spinning dark ride coaster thing. What is this? Baha Express. <laughs> If this is what Ireland is like, I'm fucking going. That's all it is to it. I'm fucking going. Milgevine. For a powered coaster, it really sends it. Seon. Wish the airtime was a little more pronounced, but still a great family coaster. Rally Orafias. No thanks. Vilketen. It beats you up, but it's still fun for some reason. Flying Eagle. What the fuck is a Tuf Tuf Torget. I classify this as a wild mouse coaster. Mikal Pekan. A friend of mine ranks this above many thrill coasters, and I love that. Vildamusen. Low key a thrill coaster when untrimmed. Jetline. Tragic event aside, for which my condolences go out, this ride had an amazing roar. Costin, write this doing a concert. Look at this! Ah! Monster. Something about this ride is pure magic. Twister, perhaps Gravity Group's dumbest family woody. What am I now? <gasps> Stupid? But absolutely working to its advantage. Traun. Wacky worm with airtime. Typhoon. Spinning not found. Cobra. Once again, my condolences go out, and I truly hope we never see this model get built again. Bisfem. Nope. Phoenix. Best flow ever. Express Platform 13. There are more forces on this than people give it credit for. Condor. <laughs> Untamed. Every bruise this ride gave me only made me want more. Lost Gravity. Unexpectedly great airtime. Draco. The National Public Warning System has a siren right next to this ride, which tested as we waited in line for it, which we did not know was a test at the time. So this is officially the most terrifying coaster experience I've ever had. Speed of Sound. European Jolly Rancher Remix. Goliath. Go front row and let the wind blow. Or something. K3 Roller Skater. My first pink credit. Hashtag like me coaster. I love and hate this ride's name. The Drac. We almost killed a bird on this one. <laughs> Heidi the Ride. Really made me realize how big of a GCI simp I am. The Ride to Happiness. Spinning while inverting is simply amazing. Super Splash. RCDB hates this ride. No! A new is the ride. Every kind of force imaginable on a coaster can be found on this. Conda. The Outer Bank Camelback is my favorite element of all time. Tiki Waka. I want more Polynesian themed coasters. Psyche Underground. Schwarzkopf Loop at its finest. Fun Pilot. Simply wholesome. Cobra. Yeah, I like boomerangs. No one can stop me. <laughs> Lugaru. I'm glad I experienced this while it's still around, because that airtime slaps. Pulsar. My first swing launch coaster. Vampia. Classic garbage. Calamity Mine. Only coaster with lap bars to ever give me hip banging. Fly. Airtime on a flying coaster is weird and awesome. Wind just force. Dope. Colorado Adventure. That time Vekoma decided to make a thrill coaster with their mind train model. Taron. I fall a bit in love whenever I think about this ride. Black Mamba. The ride to ride in the front row if you have a desire to lose your feet. <laughs> Reich, surprisingly forceful. Wind just fear, even doper. Tom Datiga, best traditional wacky worm I've done. Drifting coaster, so dumb it's good. La Pomme, according to the internet, this ride doesn't exist. If an item does not appear in our records, it does not exist. RC Racer, so short and pointless a ride, you question your existence after waiting 45 minutes in line for it. Crushes coaster, I really want to ride more Mauer spinners. Star Wars Hyperspace Mountain, do the full retheme or do not. There's no half ass. I'm not gonna. I can't do that. Casey Jr. Le Petit Train to Cirque. The most adorable coaster I've ridden. Indiana Jones et le Tombe du Beril. Of all things, Intamin copied Pinfari. <laughs> I'm sorry, but really? Why did you do that? Funny. I mean, it still kind of slaps. Big Thunder Mountain. So prestige, the coaster has an entire island to itself. Avengers Assemble Flight Force. It might not be rock and roller coaster, but the amount of hate this ride gets is scary. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? Luch Alpine. My first Alpine coaster. Insane. Lives up to its name like no other coaster. Goldie's Tolkien. Second best coaster in the world after Dogfire Coaster. One of the few. Wildfire. Giving the word beauty a whole new meaning. El Phoenix Blaxen. Dolphin. Mountain Coaster. A must visit in Stockholm for the view alone. Indie Blitz. Dogfart Wannabe. <laughs> T-Rex Family Coaster. Features the best element on a powered coaster I've ridden. Crazy Bats. I hate VR on coasters. <laughs>
Luna, the perfect addition, Valkyria, proving that dive coasters aren't one-trick ponies, Balde, the wooden megalite, this bad banan. The more I think back on this ride, the more I love all that it is. Helix, maybe one of the most well-balanced thrill coasters out there, Stambanan, surprisingly smooth. Robaldo, no the name is not a reference to Balder, Storm the Dragon Legend, perhaps my favorite name of all my roller coaster credits. That is the coolest <laughs> name of <laughs> all time. Speed Monster, it's the Norwegian coaster. Thunder Coaster, god I wish it had the old trains. Lopen, I definitely have a soft spot for this right type by now. Kolmaskin, for every wacky worm I hate myself a little bit more. True story. Forza, the coaster that escaped New Jersey. And finally, Vildamisen. You know, this being my 151st coaster is pretty fitting since that means that this is the Mew of my coaster credits. It's the cat and the mouse. That's all folks.